Hello everyone, welcome back to my Code to Care video series. Uh, today I wanted to continue the topic of agentic uh, AI and what it all means and use another uh, example, actually two more examples. So agentic AI uh, draws upon a few techniques. Uh, one is uh, multiple LLMs, so working together instead of like a single shot where you ask a prompt and get a response that you use multiple LLMs in some fashion. Uh, the second concept is some level of non-deterministic uh, uh, flow, uh, workflow. So you don't quite know when the process might end, and we'll do a little bit of that today. Uh, and the third, the third um, technique that Agenta a AI typically uses is calling tools, like actually affecting the real world, you know, scheduling appointments or writing emails or, or calling APIs or, you know, doing something. Uh, and we won't use that uh, today, but I wanted to... Um, walk through an example of debating agents and how you can use multiple LLMs debating with each other to get a better result. Uh, and we're going to use a math example. Uh, one of the things that LLMs have had trouble with, historically they're getting quite better, some of which uh, are using this technique. Um, and, uh, and so we're going to use debating agents to better solve math problems. So let's start with kind of a silly uh, math problem. So let's say you have a treasure chest that you found at the bottom of the ocean. Um, and in that chest are 175 diamonds. There are 35 less rubies than diamonds. Uh, and there are twice as many um, emeralds as rubies. Okay, so let's say that was the math, uh, the math problem that you wanted to solve with large language models. So here's a technique. You take um, model number one, so agent number one, and you ask it this math problem. So you say, here's my problem, uh, go ahead and solve it for me. Uh, and I did this um, the other day, uh, and it came back with a response and it gave a big explanation of how it did the math, and it said the answer was 255. And then you ask the same question to another agent. So agent two, let me stand out of the way. So agent two also gave an explanation of its math, and it said the answer was 595. So it gave a different answer. Okay, now it turns out that um, one of these is right. It's actually this one and not this one. But you don't know that. You're asking the LLM to help solve the problem. So what you can do is you can re-ask the um, first agent, but give it the second agent's rationale. So you can say, I asked another agent the same question. Here was its explanation and its results. Would you like to reconsider your answer? Okay. So when this happened, in this uh, particular run, it took the other agent's results and it changed its answer. And it said, upon reconsideration, I think 595 is the right answer. Uh, you can do the same thing in reverse, because you don't quite know um, which one was right, let's say. Uh, and this agent took agent one's uh, rationale uh, had its own feeling about it and said, I'm sticking with 595. Okay? So, um, so in this case, then, upon reconsideration, getting feedback from the other agent, both agents came up with the same answer. Uh, and it is the right answer in this case. So this is a way that LLMs have learned to do more complex things, is just ask a few of them the same question, give the others responses, uh, as input in subsequent calls, uh, ask it to reconsider, and then eventually you may find a consistent answer among, uh, among the models. So let me show you one other um, uh, example that I ran. Hey there, I'm just popping in to say that I'd love to hear your comments and feedback on this video. I read all the comments, so let me know what you think. Let me know what suggestions you have for my next video by uh, putting in some comments uh, below the line here. Thanks. All right, let me give you another example, and this might be another way that you can think about how to use debating agents. It's also a math problem. Uh, so the math problem is how many integers 
between 1 and 1,000 are divisible by 3, 5, or 7, but not 3 and 5. Okay? So, not the world's most complicated math problem. You can get into an Excel and solve this in like um, a minute or something like that. Uh, but at any rate, math is um, uh, something that LLMs have had trouble with. So imagine having a system where you do multiple rounds with two debating agents. So, uh, and I did this last week actually, um, and these were the results. So round one, the two agents, or at least model providers I used, were OpenAI and I used XAI for the second agent. Uh, in round one, I asked both agents this question, both of these model providers, and the OpenAI model came up with 486, and the XAI model came up with 477. Uh, now this time I won't tell you which one is right, but you know that you have a problem, you don't really know the real answer, you're trying to get your system to, to help you. So now ask again, so round two, in this case, just like the example before, use the feedback from the other agent and pass that to the, the other agent, basically, uh, as input for them to reconsider their decision. So in round two, believe it or not, the OpenAI model, upon reflection and having the other agent's feedback, changed its answer to 477. And the XAI model, uh, upon reflection and getting feedback from the other model, changed its answer to 486. So they were both um, uh, influenced by each other uh, more than their own uh, thinking. So I asked again. I basically said, you know, in the, in the prompts, you know, I'm trying to get you, you and another agent to agree. Here's the logic of the other agent. Uh, would you like to revise your answer? So in round three, um, the OpenAI model stuck with 477. Uh, and the XAI model changed its answer to 477, uh, which is actually the right answer. Uh, so in this system, you basically had debating agents. There's some non-deterministic aspect of this. You don't really know how many rounds it's going to take for these two agents to uh, agree. So you keep doing it. You might have a limit of 10 rounds or something, something like that, but you keep doing it until they agree, and then you stop and then you assume the agreed upon answer is the right answer. That's not guaranteed, but having multiple LLMs work together in this debating AI agent concept does significantly improve the accuracy with some of these difficult, uh, difficult problems. Um, and it did in this case that, uh, that I ran. Uh, so that's it. What I wanted to reinforce about agentic AI uh, is this notion of multiple LLMs working together, kind of multiple agents kind of working together to improve a result. Uh, this concept of debating you can do for math, but you could do it for other examples as well. If you're trying to, I don't know, write something or come up with a plan, you might have two agents come up with that plan, critique each other, evaluate, you know, try and get um, both of them to come closer, uh, and you might have an improved result. You probably would have an improved result. Second thing about agentic AI, which is displayed here, some level of non-deterministic workflow. So we don't really know in advance how many rounds uh, it'll take. It's kind of part of the system um, to kind of resolve itself um, instead of you hardwiring it to a particular, uh, particular process. Uh, and the third thing we didn't explore, but I'll just reinforce here, that agentic AI often uses tools to affect the outside world, and I'll cover that in a future video, I'll give you some examples of that. Uh, so I hope that was interesting, uh, and until next time, thanks. Hey there, I hope you liked this video. Um, I've added a next video at the end of this, so, um, so take a look at that if you, uh, if you enjoyed this. And if something resonated with you, please drop uh, a comment um, at, um, uh, down below here. I read every comment uh, myself, and I really appreciate hearing from you. Thanks.